Well, I was very lucky because working with Catherine Hebb, I came sort of under her aura, as it were, and I have never felt a disadvantage of being a woman. I think, obviously, this is partly because not having a family, I don't have to um, balance work and home, etc. But also, very early on, I remember Jim Linzel saying, coffee one day, he said, it's more difficult for women to get educated in science than it is for men, so any woman who's made it must be a jolly good. And I've always basked, <laughs> basked in that feeling. And then... We got um, Martha Vogt. She came down from Edinburgh with um, Gadam. And Barry Cross didn't like women. And he once told my brother that there was no such thing as a good woman in science. And my brother said, well, what about Martha Vogt? She's got an FRS. And so he said, oh, well, there's always an exception. Um, and when he had to make, and it wasn't his fault, he had to make a lot of people at Babram redundant because the ARC changed its policy, um, there was a high proportion of women. And he managed to justify it. Um, Celia Milstein, Cecil Milstein's wife, got made redundant. And so he said, well, um, she's the wife of a Nobel laureate, she's all right, and then Anne can be made redundant because she hasn't got a family to support. And so, and so it went on. And um, men were made redundant too, but the proportion of women was very high.